What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Boat Buckle G2 Retracting Ratcheting Bow Tie Down Strap. So we got an S hook up here. You're going to hook that up to the front of your boat and then you can ratchet it down so it gets really tight and holds the front of your boat down. Let's check it out. What's nice about this is that it's going to mount to your trailer so that you don't have to worry about finding a place to store this on your boat or get them out when you go to tie it down. It's always going to be right here and ready to use. And the cool thing about that is that it has a release on it. So then it just retracts into itself just like that easily. So it's going to store right there. That way it's not always going to be hanging out or you don't have to roll it up or anything. And when you go to use it, you can just go up there, attach it, bring the release out, and then you can start tying it down. And as you do that, it ratchets it into place. Our S hook is going to be vinyl coating, so you don't have to worry about it messing up the boat or whatever comes in contact. Plus it's going to protect it from the elements. You come down here and all the ratcheting mechanisms has that same vinyl here. Just makes it to protect this and easier to grip when you're going to do this. There isn't a lot of space for your hands, but it's not bad at all to grab this to ratchet up or to push down these and to release it. The strap itself is going to be two inches wide and it's also going to have a length of 43 inches. Now it's got made out of this seatbelt material, so you know it's going to hold up. It's even double stitched up here at the point where it's going to get pulled on the most where it tensions. So you don't have to worry about that coming loose. It also has a safe working load limit of 500 pounds. The exposed metal here on the handles is all going to be stainless steel. So when you put it on your boat trailer, you don't have to worry about the water rusting it or corroding it. Even if you are near salt water, you don't have to worry about the salt causing the issues on you. Insulation's really easy, especially when we already had a hole in our trailer. You might have to drill your own hole. And other than that, though, you just need a couple of tools just to put this in place and get it tightened down. Check out how we did it. Now we've got our boat buckle where we want to put it right here on the side of our trailer. There's already a pre-drilled hold for us, so we're just going to go ahead and use that. We made sure it's the same size. We're going to line that up. So that's what we're going to aim for the hole here on the bottom. We're going to aim to line that up. And to help us do that too, is we can pull out our hook and attach it up here to the loop. That way, it'll help hold it in place so I can use both hands to get that hardware in there. So I line up that hole. I'm going to pull back on this handle to kind of get a better shot of it right there. You can see it's lined up. What we're going to do is put our bolt. This is the hardware we got ourselves, the hardware included we tried to use, but it didn't work out so well in our situation. The bolt was too long for our trailer, so we just got our own hardware. So we just got a shorter bolt and then a nut that matches that and a lock washer too for the other side. So I'm going to put the lock washer on now and then our nut. Now we had other problems with the hardware that was included. It did seem to get stuck when we were trying to put that nut on there. So I couldn't even tighten it down hand tight to get to the tool. So I just didn't like that hardware. So if that might be something you do before when you order this, you might want to go ahead and make sure you got hardware on the side to replace it just in case your hardware doesn't work out either. So I got that hand tight. Now come back with the tools and continue to tighten down. Now, just in case you didn't use the hook to hold the strap in place, we undid it just to show you. Push down here on the release. That'll bring the hook up. We can attach that, let that go, and then push out on that. Now it's locked back. It won't come right back in, and you can use this to get a little more tightness pulled on there. One more. There we go. Nice and tight. Overall, pretty easy installation. Wasn't that bad, just make sure you get that secondary hardware just in case you have issues with the hardware included like we did. And it also made it easier for us because there was a hole up here on the front of the boat. If you don't have a hole, you might have to drill one yourself. But again, in the grand scheme of things, that's not that difficult. It's pretty easy to get this set up. And now you have a nice strap here mounted on the front to make sure the front of your boat stays down. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.